Hey guys, Prince of Mastodon here. I'm doing a commentary video for Medieval 2 Total War. And this is a 2 versus 2 battle. I have not played this game in forever. And... It doesn't lag too much, Medieval 2, on my crappy video card. It's, uh, it's passable. Anyways, um, I'm commanding Poland here. In this, uh, in this replay. My ally's name is... Miruati. He commands the Turks. And as you can see, I'm lined up against the Mongols, and my opponent is lined up against the French. And I was thinking that I should have uh, switched sides at the beginning with my, my ally, so that I could line up against the French. And he, being a more um, skirmish-oriented faction, could fight the, uh, the Mongols. So let's go look at the opponent's armies here. The Mongol army is commanded by Mr. Slovini. He hosted this battle. He has tons of archers, tons of them. Ridiculous amounts, and um, he does have what one or two uh, spear units, and then he has a lot of uh, horses. And then he has some napatoons as well. Napatoons are like like little dudes that carry grenades. And uh, the French guy, his name is V and H Shin. He got some crossbowmen. They're called a uh, adventurier or whatever. He got some uh, lancers and some dismounted feudal knights and some French mounted archers over here. He's going to use them to harass the opponent. So, I see these guys moving. Hmm. So they seem to be gunning for the Turks. Or at least that's what I thought. They're just keeping a compact formation here. So anyways, we're going to exchange missile fire here. These are the Mongol archers. Our men are under attack. We need to and uh, my guys are severely outranged. I'm just using a Lithuanian dismounted cav for my archer force here. So I have to get really far up with these guys in order to uh, exchange missile fire. Plus I only brought three of these guys. So my guys are getting murdered. Look at that. This is murder. All those Mongol arrows. And you can see the uh, Shin is moving his uh, horse archers around the Turkish position. So I see his calf moving. So I'm going to move up my calf here. Because the calf are really deadly in Medieval 2. They can run down infantry at will. So I'm bringing up my, my Cav to try to counter his dudes. His guys are just going to smash into my guys and incinerate them. Look at that. And he's pretty much in and out before my Cav can get there. Those are my Polish Knights. I'm trying to get there to the rescue really late though. A military genius. Our men are under attack. We must act now. So I had this bright idea. I'm like, hey, this is kind of like Rome's Little War. I'm going to run my guys up here. My my heavy infantry. And I'm going to close the distance with his archers. Try to take him out. And I'm going to use my cav to uh, keep his cav away. Those are my ideas. So he only has, uh, what, five cav units? I thought I could take his cap out. So here's the uh, overhead. The Turks are finally moving forward a little bit. So I'm going to ram my horses into his. And I've got a flanking wing over here. See this? I'm not sure why they move like that. That was weird. I'm going to try to take out his, uh, his Khan's guard. I think I can. I think I can. Boom! Lord, be merciful. We have lost half of our men. That was pretty fast. All the meanwhile, my infantry wasn't doing so well. I thought they would have cut through these Mongol infantry like they were nothing, but uh, my guys got murdered on their way there from cav charges and missile fire. And these archers can hold their ground pretty well. Our men are 
under attack. We must act now. So I think I was too. I don't know, too focused on using Rome Total War tactics. It, it just it, it didn't really uh, translate very well into this game. I am killing his cab though, slowly but surely. But it doesn't mount to a whole lot of beans. I hill. Ah! I screwed that up. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. And, um, yeah, see, I did kill his, his cab, but that didn't really matter. Because my infantry's gone. They. I thought they would have uh, ran through his infantry because they were mainly archers, but nope. Mongol archers held their ground, and my allies getting murdered here. I'm saying that because he had me as an ally. I suck at being able to so bad. There's the French infantry and cav running through these Turks. There's a nice little fight going on over here. But these uh, Elon light cav are kind of outmatched by the uh, the French lancers. So yeah, look at my uh, Polish knights. I did manage to beat most of his cav. There goes the, the French general, I believe. And here I'm, I'm trying to run through his archers. but I guess I don't have enough cab to break through him. So my guys just run into a brick wall there. I was trying to break through and help my ally out. But, uh... <laughs> did not go according to plan, my friends. Not according to plan. Excuse me. So here's an overhead of the situation. Not very pretty. The Mongols are pretty much untouched. Except for their cav, their cav's pretty much depleted. General, our allies My allies creamed. So this bizarre combination of the Mongols and the French beat our bizarre combination of the Turks and the Poles. This battle was not even close, but it was a fun battle regardless. I do enjoy playing Medieval 2 every so often. Uh, just because, well, I barely play it, and it's fun to see medieval troops every so often. Nice parade formation there, huh? Look at these guys. The, the Mongols. Why is the battle suit? Oh, okay, I still have my archers fighting over here. My dismounted Lithuanians. I can do a little last man. Fights as the last man here. Leonidas, heroic last stand. They finally break though. They, they took down some heavy archers though. And <laughs> those are really heavy archers. So we got creamed. I especially got creamed there. And... Yeah. Good game to everybody here. Good game to my ally Miruati. Sorry that you had me as an ally. And uh, good game to Mr. Slovini and Shin. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary video.